guys, it's Rachel and today I am back with another video on my B6 allergy. My apologies for this being a little bit late. You might be able to tell by my voice that I've had a bit of a cold. I'm absolutely fine, but I just couldn't film. I was coughing and spluttering and snivelling and just generally making noises that you guys would not want to hear. And it lasted a while as well. It's lasted me... Um, in fact, we've all had it. We've all had it. And it's not COVID. We did have a COVID test, me, Chris and Jensen. Um, and we were all negative, but uh, yeah. So I've had to wait until I've stopped snivelling to be able to film again. So I'm a little bit behind um, with my planning, but I'll show you how last week turned out for just make sure that I am on the camera. So this was a kit from Lily Blossom Design. I'm not up to date with it either. I've just missed Sunday. What did we have for tea on Sunday? We had a roast, of course. A lovely chicken dinner. Minus the chicken for me, obviously. Um... But yeah, I am up to date. Yeah, you can see there, I ordered my COVID test on, uh, no, I ordered it on the Wednesday, did it on the Thursday, got my negative on the Saturday. Yeah, it took two days to come. Then Chris's test came on the Saturday. He got his negative on the Sunday, did he? Or was it Monday? It was Monday. And then Jensen is doing these ones that they've been sending home from school that I have a ton of. There's three in each packet and he keeps bringing them home. They keep giving them to him. He's got to do them on a Tuesday and um, a Friday, a standard anyway, until further notice. So yeah, he's doing them anyway. But we all had a really stinking cold um, and it was little Paige that started it. She went to school and brought us all a lovely cold back. So thanks for that, Paige. Uh, but we're all fine now and I can talk properly without coughing and spluttering so we can do this beautiful uh, plan with me with this kit from Happy Shed Papery. So we've gone for the Spring Breeze kit this time. This is a relatively new release and it is also one of the new formats as well. So I'll just go through that quickly with you. We've still got the eight boxes <clears throat> and we have got eight checklist boxes. And then this is new, we've got the longer page flags and we've got some sort of funky shape boxes as well. And I'm wondering if maybe I can turn one of these shapes into a page flag, um, like a turny pagey tabby thingy, you know? <laughs> um, and then obviously we've got the, um, the little writing down there as well. Lots and lots of functional boxes. We have got date covers, dots and washi, and then the bottom checklist trackers and icons. So I'm a big fan of this new format. Um, I liked the other format, but um, I think I like this one better. Now, just a quick note. Last time I used a kit from Happy Shape Papery, I said that all the images were hand-drawn. And Vanda sent me a little message to say that... It's not quite true. Most of the images are hand drawn, but sometimes they do use stock photos as well, or stock images as well that you can buy. You know, um, creator content like illustrator content. You buy it, don't need to make these beautiful kits. So, but for the most part, it is hand drawn images. But I did just want to make sure that I was crystal clear on that um, for her. So yeah, I have remembered to draw the lines down today. I am going to stick with. Oh, I can see what I've done already. What is wrong with me? I am going to stick with the um, the two to a, the four to um, a page, and I'm going to draw the lines on the right page. Apparently, I've committed to next week being that as well. It is my favourite layout though, so I don't mind. Do you know when I was doing it as well? I I literally checked. I thought, no, I'm not getting this one. I'm going to check. Look, the pages must have been stuck together. How annoying. Right then, I have sorted that out and uh, I just paused the camera to clear my throat as well. I am one of those annoying people that clears the throat a lot anyway, just generally in real life. I've been to the doctors about it previously and said like, why Why do I do this all the time? And the doctor just said, oh, you're just a, <laughs> you're just a mucusy person, lovely. Um, so when I've got a cold, I am like extra, extra annoying with clearing my throat. It does Chris's head in. We will sit watching the television and I'll like clear my throat for the hundredth time and he'll be like, oh, for God's sake. But I can't help it. I just can't help it. He thinks that it's just a thing that I do that is like a tick. <laughs> I don't have ticks. Um, but it's not. I genuinely have the need to clear my throat. It drives me crackers. Uh, but yeah, anyway, just a useful bit of information about myself there, in case you were wondering. So I've decided to start with the top washi. I've just realised as well that I am going to need to do a little trim on this bottom washi, so we will do that now. And I'll ask you all how you've been. How are you all? It's been so long. I did actually pre-film my last four videos that went up, so actually it's been super long for me since I filmed, um, maybe even a couple of weeks. Um, no, it's not been a couple of weeks. A week, probably. Like, don't be dramatic, Rach. 
been a week probably um but yeah i feel like it's been absolutely ages and i feel a bit lost like i wanted to talk to you all um just say hi so i'm glad to be back hopefully that's it like i always do this don't i like i'll i'll be like putting loads of videos up and i think yeah i'm on it i am back and then something happens and i start getting messages like rach where are you <laughs> And it's always a sob story like, oh, I've got another cold, oh, this has happened. But it's just that time of year, isn't it? But yeah, I've got some things to fill you in on. Nothing super exciting, just general life updates. But you will all be happy to know uh, that Paige is doing really well at school and she's not currently crying when she's going in. She seems to have, um, she seems to have put a big girl pants on and just started to get on with it, which obviously makes me super, super proud of her. Um, so she, yeah, she's doing all right. And actually, funny little story. I think that I might have figured out what was upsetting her. So I thought that she obviously didn't like school and that she was getting upset because she didn't want to go. And then I was putting her to bed one night and she was upset, which wasn't unusual for her. She would be getting upset at the thought of going to school the next day. And then she said, I'm at school tomorrow and Jensen's at school tomorrow and daddy's going to work and you're going to be missing everybody on your own. And I was like, oh, is this what's upsetting you because I'm by myself? And I think it might have been. Um, she said, you don't need to miss me. I'll be coming back soon. Like, um, and she was crying. And I said, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. When you and Daddy and Jensen are not at home, I've got the doggies and I do all the washing. And then I come and pick you up with some sweeties. But I'm not lonely. I'm, f I'm fine. You know, I'm happy. Um, and she told me that I could play with her doll's house and I could play with her dogs and play with her Paw Patrol and she would be back soon. Um, so what I started doing every day when she was going to school, I started telling her what I was going to be doing during the day and saying things like, oh, I'm going to watch Paw Patrol and I'm going to take the doggies for a walk and I'm going to uh, do some washing and then I might play doll's house and then I'll come and pick you up. And she didn't seem to be getting upset on the way to school, so I thought... I think this was what was wrong. I think she thought, bless her little heart, that I was upset at home by myself because everybody else was out. And she's obviously connecting that to the fact that if she was at home by herself, she would be upset. So, yeah, I've done my absolute best to uh, reassure her and touch wood, she this week. So we're on Wednesday. I'm filming this on Wednesday, by the way. Um, she, yeah, she, from maybe Thursday last week roundabout was when she said that. Um, and most days since, she's been absolutely fine. So I think we got to the bottom of what that was. Crazy to think that that's what that was. I just didn't even think that she'd been worrying about me. And obviously, I'm fine. <clears throat> so yeah, I think we sorted that out. So that was good. Um, what else do I have to update you on? Nothing much, really. Not much else has gone on. Chris ended up having the week off at work because um, because of the cold situation. So Paige got a cold last Saturday, not this Saturday, it's just gone the one before. She only had it for the Saturday, um, a little bit on the Sunday morning maybe, but she seemed to get over it really quickly. And then, I think these are just a tiny bit miscut, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then, yeah, and then Jensen got it on the Monday, and on the Monday night he was terrible with it. He slept terribly, he got up in the morning, he was just all snivelling. Um, and he didn't ask me if he could have the day off school, but I said to him he could have the day off school just to recuperate, really. He went back on Wednesday and he was fine from then. On that Tuesday when Jensen was off, I started to feel quite tired. Um, and I said to him, I'm going to have a little snooze on the couch. Um, but I'm okay, don't worry, you know, I'm just going to, just a bit tired. Well, I was sort of tired when I went to sleep, but when I woke up, I woke up with a streaming nose. I was clearing my throat, I was coughing. And that Tuesday night, I think it says in here, I think I wrote it in, I went to bed at seven o'clock in the spare room by myself as well. And I did fall straight asleep, like straight asleep. And I didn't wake up till the morning um, and I felt better, but I've just been left with like a snivelly nose and um, yeah, like a mucusy throat, like I said. And then on the Wednesday, Chris started with it. So he was already off on the Wednesday. So he... Um, just spent the day relaxing and then he went to work on the Thursday well I was just coming back from taking Paige to school so it's about 10 past 9 and my phone rang which is normally when he would ring me to say um, you know how did everybody go in are you alright is everything okay um, so I just was expecting that and he was like guess who's on the way home I was like oh how come not even thinking it was because of the um, the Covid rules at the moment and he was like he'd walked in and his boss was just like no you need to go home 
uh, COVID tests and then come back. So that's what we did. But I'd already booked one on the Wednesday just for reassurance, really, because if, if I had it, he would need to be off work because obviously he works at the NHS with um, vulnerable people. That is obviously the right thing to do. Um, so my test came on the Thursday and I had to book him a test on the Thursday. So, yeah, it was just a bit a bit of a week, really. Do I have silver date dots instead of holographic? I do. I just feel like this kit will go nicely with a bit of silver. I suppose it would go with gold as well because we've got the warm tones in it, but I just feel like the blue is calling me for some silver. So let's do some silver. So, yeah, anyway, long story short, although it wasn't really a long story short because I did waffle a bit then. Uh, we've all had a cold, but we're all fine. <laughs> So yeah, not much else to um not much else to tell really. Not much else going on. I have got a little piece of paper next to me with Monday and Tuesday's uh, shenanigans so that I have got something to write in, a little bit of something today. I joined the postcode lottery today, I decided. Have a go on the postcode lottery. See how well we do. Probably not very well. I don't have much luck with things like that. I have some premium bonds, I have a little bit of money in premium bonds. Um, and I've won £25 a couple of times when I very first put it in, but then nothing since. It's a bit old school premium bonds, isn't it? But at the time when I uh, got that money and needed to put it somewhere, interest rates in bank accounts were terrible. I think the best that I could see was 0.5% or something like that, like really bad. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to chuck this in the premium bonds. It did win 25 quid a couple of times, like I said. Um, but yeah, maybe I should move that. But yeah, I thought, well... I'll have a go on the postcode lottery and see see how we do with that so what I am going to do is I'm going to do my sidebar over here I'm going to do my trackers I'm going to stick with the skincare tracker the skincare tracker has been working out really well for me um, and it's actually made me feel quite like um what is the word sort of re-energized to get back into skincare and makeup again I've actually been wearing makeup properly rather than just chucking a little bit of something on um, and thinking, yeah, that'll do. Normally, like, in the morning when I'm doing school run, I'll chuck a bit of powder on, chuck my eyebrows on, and um, do a bit of mascara and a bit of blush if I'm lucky. Um, but, yeah, I have actually put uh, foundation, foundation on for the last two days. So, yeah, I felt good as well. It made me feel like I was, like, um... um not a new woman, like, don't be ridiculous, but, you know, I just felt, I felt good about myself. I didn't feel like a frumpy mum standing in the playground, feeling like a bedraggled, I don't even know what. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with my, um, stick with my skincare tracker, which means that I need two. I need one for my medication and one for my skincare. But what's new with you guys since I've been gone? Let me know in the comments how you're doing. Anything new going on with you? I always love to have a bit of a chat with you guys. See what's going on. See what's occurring. Right. So, do I have the room? Just about, but it's going to go over the bottom. But let's do... Um, let's do the blue one that says Spring Vibes. I like that one. It's pretty. So there we go, that is how my sidebar has turned out. So what day was it on Monday? On Monday, what did I have for tea on Monday? I think I just had toast. I need to stop doing that. Somebody said on one of my previous videos that had me absolutely howling, I can't remember which week it was. It was a week when I had just eaten hash browns like literally just hash browns my tea and I think I'd had curry three times in a week and I'd said something like I had curry last night this is why I'm thinking about this I said something like oh my god curry three times in a week what am I like and someone commented I wouldn't be bothered about the curry let's talk about the hash browns and I was like oh shade leave me alone <laughs> I like hash browns on their own okay hash browns with a little bit of salt and some tomato ketchup but I'll tell you what if you shop in Iceland or if you go to Iceland Go and get the hash brown fries. Oh my God, there's something else. 
they are something else they are so much nicer than hash browns they're just and they only send them in this big three kilogram bag as well so i can't buy them all the time like we went to iceland yesterday and i just walked past them and chris was like do you not want your hash brown fries and i was like do you want me to be 110 kilograms like massive do you want me to be huge because i will be if if i um if i eat these i have no idea by the way how big 110 kilo i was gonna say 110 pounds and then i um realized that that's not very big at all Maybe I didn't mean 110 kilograms. Maybe I meant 110 stone. I think that's what I meant. Let's put our Hello Weekend banner down at the bottom there. Oh, sticking to my fingers. Normally I just put the weekend, but I quite liked putting the Hello down this time. Right, so let's move on to Monday then. Did I do the date covers? I did the date covers. I feel like because I've not done this for so long, I don't know where I'm at. Um, let's use one of these nice nude colour ones. Right, so what went on on a Monday then? Me and Chris, new development, have started doing yoga. We decided, and that's his idea as well, not mine. He was like, do you fancy doing some yoga? And I was like okay so we've been searching on youtube yoga for beginners and we've been doing 10 minutes or 15 minutes every day i don't think i have any yoga stickers let's have a little look well let's write it on here i definitely don't have any scripts that say yoga so let's write yoga on here and you know what as well it actually felt really good i'm not very um fit at all to be honest i don't help myself um um, and I'm not very, uh, what's the word, like supple, bendable. <laughs> we were only doing it for beginners and I could really feel my shoulders and my hips hurting. Um, but I persevered, I carried on. Um, and afterwards I actually felt quite accomplished, like I had done something productive with my day. But I need to do it in the morning straight from school. And he was like, let's do it tonight. And I was like, no, because I won't. I won't do it tonight. If you want to do it, then I need to do it in the morning when we get up. Take the kids to school, come back, do some yoga, and then... Um, oh, I've got a Dot the Bear with a yoga mat. How perfect is that? I'm going to have to buy those on a sheet. That will have come off a sampler, because that's definitely not a sticker that I've bought on a sheet, but I need some of those. Right, and then next, obviously, <clears throat> like I said, Chris was off at the beginning of the week, and he found a new game on the Gamer Pass called Empire of Sin. And he is obsessed with it. So we have been playing that. And actually, I um, was helping him with like... So he's really good at doing like the combat. But anything that needs reading and is like strategy, um, then he needs me for that. So we, we sort of played it together and it was a team effort. We've always done that. Like that is kind of something that we've always been interested in. Just I know it sounds like I should be bored but I've always enjoyed watching him play a video game you know and getting into the story and helping him to like make decisions that need made I know that probably sounds ridiculous to a lot of people but it's just a fun thing that we've always done and now it sort of reminds me of when we were younger um because we've been together for 15 years now um and it obviously reminds me of when we were first together and we didn't have kids and we used to have one of the very first xboxes just the normal is it a 360 I think that was the first one we got and Gears of War was one of the first games that we played. Um, and we used to stay up until three o'clock in the morning playing that. It was just just so much fun. It's just what we enjoyed playing. And it just yeah, just playing video games now and watching him play games just reminds me of that, I suppose. So yeah. Um we took our little doggy woggy woos to pick Paige up. That was a good thing about the both of us being um available to go and pick her up from school is that one of us can wait around the corner with the dogs because she just loves it when her doggies uh, pick her up she'll ask them and I can't take them when I'm on my own because they're not allowed in the playground and um I wouldn't tie them up anywhere <clears throat> to wait you know I, I couldn't if anybody took them I'd be devastated so if it's just me on my own then we don't get to take them but when it's me and Chris she gets her doggies her doggy woggy woos as she calls them to come and pick her up so I did wonder if I had um, any doggy stickers, but I think the only ones that I have got 
Oh, the dog paws that I just went past. I need some dog walk stickers, don't I? Do I have... I've got some samplers that I haven't yet put into this book. Do I have anything that says dog walk? think I do unfortunately no I don't think so so what I'm going to do I think then is just go with the dog paws um that were on the other page where have they gone just down here they were somewhere these ones I think that's actually I use the white ones And I'm going to just put those there. So then that means next I can move on to Tuesday. So Tuesday, again, we did the yoga. Now, I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough to have a second one of those yoga dot the bears. Let's have a look. Um, can't remember whose sample it was. I know it was Paper K, but she has all the different girls, doesn't she? Oh, what about this one? This one will do, won't it? I don't have a yoga mat yet or anything like that. That's sort of a fitnessy one. So if I um, write yoga in one of these boxes. Let's do this one down the bottom. And then if I pop that there and put that one underneath and then I think I've just got some little hearts. Yeah, one of these. That's kind of cute, right? Let's go with that then. And then let's put down another full box. I think we'll do the picnic one. It's really starting to feel like spring again, which is nice. It's still cold though. I'm still quite cold. Um, right, next then I have got Iceland. We went to Iceland. Our Iceland is really annoying. Chris and I don't drive, um, which to be honest, for the most part, doesn't really bother me. I've always walked everywhere, but for things like shopping, I mean, we don't live too far away from the little shopping place, that's got like Aldi and Morrisons and Iceland. So it only costs like a couple of pounds in a taxi to get home. I think it's like £3.20. So for the most part, it doesn't annoy me. But we have got one of the only Icelands that doesn't do delivery. You know, when you go in and you, if you buy over £25 of shopping, then you can say, right, will you bring it, you know, will you deliver it home from the store? You leave it there. And they don't do it at that one, but they do. She said, oh, we do do internet delivery, though. I'm like, well, I'm not on the internet. I'm in the store. Can you not just deliver it? I can see the vans. But no, they don't do delivery, unfortunately, which is annoying. <clears throat> oh, my throat really is driving me mad. I'm so, so sorry. I'm trying my hardest not to um, clear my throat a million times in this video. I've paused a couple of times. Any jump cuts in the video, that's me pausing and going <laughs> really annoyingly off the camera. <laughs> um, let's do one of these little panda bears. These ones were from Planter Stitch Planning, but a very long time ago. And I'm not sure if she still does them anymore. Um, and then Jensen did his COVID test. It was negative, but I do actually need to log that on the website. I haven't done it yet. Um... What shall I put? What shall I put? Jay's COVID test negative. So that means that he has another one coming up on Friday. And they want us to continue testing during the Easter holidays as well. He's really good with it, actually. I thought that he would be... Um, I thought that he would struggle with having it done... I thought that he'd be, I don't want to say a bit of a wimp, but he's not good with things like that. Um, 
So I did think he'd struggle a lot more, but he didn't. He was fine, so yeah. Um, and then I wanted to note down that Radley had finally... So if you remember in my last video, I was fussing about um, a Radley bag that I bought and the payment was coming up on Klarna and it had been returned and Radley had accepted it and said that they'd received it, but Klarna was saying that it had notification of it, no notification of it, and that I still had to pay. It was £51. And it was coming up where it had like six days to go until the payment was due and I didn't want it to make a mark on my credit history if I didn't pay it, but I had no intention of paying it because I didn't still have the bag. Anyway, yesterday, finally, yesterday, it finally got um, sorted out. I can't believe how many emails. And in the end, I stopped emailing and I went onto Facebook and started messaging them on Facebook to see if anybody responded a bit quicker, which they actually did. But it's never the same... Um, it was never the same agent. Like, I would start the conversation with one and then somebody else would come on and then want me to explain it again and I'd be like, can you not just read up the chat? Read up the chat, I'm not repeating myself. So I'm just going to write that in there like that so that I know that that was finally resolved. Which means that I've got nothing left to pay on Klarna at all for anything, which is just how I like it. I don't really like having um, things out on credit. Uh, what can I put next to it? I think I might just put um, a bow or something. Hmm. What do I have in my icon thing? I need some ticks. I wish that I had some ticks. So that when things are checked off, I can check them off. Don't think I have any like tick things on here. Maybe a thumbs up. That thumbs up will work, won't it? So this is a sheet from the Josephine Bow Designs Advent Calendar. Um, so unfortunately, I don't think it's available to buy, but she does have some doodle stickers in this style in the shop thumbs up because it finally got sorted out and I was getting really really stressed about it I've worked quite hard I was silly in my teens um, and in my early 20s with credit and I did get quite bad credit and I've worked very very hard to get that credit sorted um, so yeah I would be furious if that made a difference to my credit. Right, so today then, today is Wednesday. So let's put down, um, let's just do this pretty floral print. And we'll put it down the bottom just for a change. Right, uh, so Chris is back to work. So I do want to note that down. ended up totaling to a week that he'd had off because he actually had his normal day off before he ended up being uh, sent home. That was a week ago today. So he actually had a full week off work, which was a bit crazy. Um, I've washed the bedding, which I do want to note down, but I think I've got some stickers for that that say clean sheets that might be in here. Or did I put them into here? I might have put them in here now, actually. Here we go. Chain sheets, wash sheets. Wash sheets, because I did do that. These are from Little Pencil Design, I think. And we're going to pop it on a page bag. like that and then I want to note that I joined the postcode lottery just so that I know when I joined um let's do a blue box we haven't got any blue over here have we
There we go. So yeah, I joined that this morning. I think it's £10 a month and you get entered into a draw every day, I think. Has anyone joined? Has anybody won anything? Even if it's just a little, like I don't really know how it works. Is there just big prizes or can you win some little prizes as well? I guess I should have um, read the terms and conditions first. Um, and I think then, oh no, wait a minute. I've got the dog groom. Paige's iPad just made a noise and scared the absolute life out of me behind me. She downloaded these, um, 12.30. She downloaded this game that's like looking after a baby and it squawks. And it does it in like the middle of the night and it absolutely terrifies me. I don't know how to stop it. It doesn't have a button that's like to stop it. <laughs> so it frightens me. So Effie has having a little haircut tomorrow, which she will be very pleased about. She is long overdue a haircut. And she just generally loves a pamper anyway. Uh, so let's find my doggy grooming stickers because I definitely have some of those. The little doggy in the doggy bath. I know I definitely have them. Where are they? Here we go, here we go. And then I'll put my full box down and I'm gonna use uh, this beautiful blue one. And then Friday, I'm just gonna note that schools break up. And that's both of the kids as well and um i did hear that two schools in my area have actually already closed due to high covid numbers one is a high school um, and i know that that one is true because my friend works uh, somewhere where she would know that that was true um and the other one i overheard a mum talking about this morning so i'm not sure how verified that is but she seemed to be under the impression that a second school had actually already closed. What The one that I know about for definite was at the beginning of the week. So how crazy. <clears throat> and then all I saw all over Facebook yesterday was Boris Johnson and Chris Whitty warning people that uh, we might get hit by this bloody third wave. And I just thought, please, no more lockdown. <sighs> please, <laughs> pretty please. <laughs> Sugar on top. Please don't do that to us again. I'm so bored now. I'm so fed up. I don't... I understand why we do it. I'm not moaning at all um, about that. But from a from a personal mental health perspective, no. No more, please. Uh, and then just last thing on Saturday, I do want to write down the shopping scam. I think I might write it on one of these page plugs here, actually. That is small enough to write on there. I don't have any bills coming up. Do I have anything else? I don't think I do. So we'll pop that down on there. We will pop Saturday and Sunday's full boxes down. Just give the, um, the monthly another quick check, but I don't think there's anything else. I'm gonna put this further up actually. And then this one can go right underneath. That's not quite stuck. Uh, let's just recheck the monthly. No, there's nothing else at all. A tab. I do want to put a tab on. And I wanted to see maybe if I could use something from here. Um...
if I peel this up slightly, I'm not quite sure if they are removable stickers, but it did come up all right. Um, I think I'll try like one of these, what do you call them? They remind me of like Art Deco that like people have in their houses. You know the coven that people have in their houses? So if I put that one there on that side, and then the trick is try and place it on the other side exactly the same so let's have a little go that's not too bad is it a bit weird <laughs> maybe it's a bit weird uh, but it works it brings me to my page so there you go then that is how oh i'm off the camera sorry about that that is how this week is turning out so far. So far we are on uh, Wednesday. Let's just do medication. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then skincare again. And I have done morning skincare every day. I have not done afternoon skincare this time, which is um, a bit naughty. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay then, so I think that that is going to be it for the rest of this uh, video. I have got the rest of the week to fill in as we go on and I will update you on Instagram to see how that turns out. But that's going to be it from me for now. If you like this video, if you could give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye!